Welcome everybody to Filmora Effects. Today we're going to take a little deeper dive into the new Filmora 12 draw mask feature. Now you saw the little demo that I did where I, let's back it up just a bit for you. So we start with stock photo of two sheep and our goal here is to remove this left sheep. Then we'll place this girl without that background in the foreground so that we end up with that girl and the sheep missing. Now I want to start this off with a slight disclaimer here. Uh, the masking feature is pretty advanced. This is not an automated process by any means. It may not work in every instance that you try it in. Certain pictures or videos uh, may not lend themselves very well to masking, but there are plenty of tools here to help you get past any limitations. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll just start right here with the blank screen. And once again, this is Filmora 12 beta. That's why everything looks different. I am using the default workspace which is why you see this very large window on the right side. So everything I need to do is pretty much right over here for me without having to jump all over the place. Let's go ahead and drag down our clip to track one of the two sheep. Make sure you're um, on it basic and we want to scale this up to fill the screen. Once you're satisfied with that, right click copy, highlight, clip number two, right click, and paste. Now you've got two copies of the sheep scaled up. All right, I want to go ahead and hide the bottom track. Make sure the top track is highlighted. And let's go ahead and remove this sheep. Click on mask, draw mask. And before we do this, I want to show you how the tool can do a curve. So you see the curvature of the body here? All you got to do is start clicking and follow the curve in small pieces. Look at that. She curved right around for us. Okay. You can hit backspace to delete the last one you did. So I'm, I'm, that one, backspace. Click, backspace. I'm going to reset the entire mask. For this demonstration, we don't really need the curves. Click, 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 draw a box. Okay? That takes care of the mask. Let's invert it so that we've punched a hole through this layer. We've punched a hole through this layer. Make sure you understand that concept. That's what we're doing with a mask. We're putting a hole through it so you can see stuff behind it. Let's unhide track one. And there you go. Now, if I click out here somewhere, the mask thing will go away. So now the mask, the sheep is gone on track two, and we're looking through on track one. All we got to do now is lock track two, highlight track one, go back to basic, go to X position, and find a place where the screen matches up. And all I did was slide. Make sure you understand what I'm doing. I just slid track one over. Now you can see there's a little bit of a line going on. Okay. A little bit of a line going on. We can fix that. Let's go back to mask. Highlight the, unlock the top track. Go back to mask. And let's take that blur strength and adjust it ever so slightly. Maybe two, I will just type it in, maybe 15. And we'll see what that looks like. And the easiest way to see what that looks like is to just move your playhead around a little bit. So there we go. So the blur worked, the sheep is gone. Blurred out very nicely. And uh, honestly, unless you get a magnifying glass or something, you're not even gonna tell that sheep was ever in that picture. Let's go grab some more media now. Let's go back to basic. Let's take some stock images. Now I've got this picture of this girl. And we're just going to drop her right on top. And of course, she's going to cover everything. We'll go ahead and split the track, make it even up. Now, the sheep are gone. 
So how do we fix that? Well, with Filmora 12, it's pretty easy. Highlight that clip. And I like to recommend that you lock the bottom two as you're working on the, the third one, fourth one, fifth one. I like to lock them in position because uh, sometimes when I don't lock them, I frequently accidentally move them around. Well, we don't want to do that. Go to AI Tools. Turn on AI Portrait. And my friends, it's already finished. It's done. This is Automagic, I like to call it. Thank you, Filmora 12. It's done. You can just leave it like that. Uh, in my example, I did a little scaling. Take the girl. Scale her down like that. I'll move her over because her hand's not visible and her body is floating. So move her down like so. Scroll across for you and you can just take a quick look and see what's happening. And that's pretty good. The sheep is gone and the girl is in the foreground. It doesn't get any easier than this, my friends. Femora 12, this new draw mask feature is absolutely amazing. It's quick and it's easy. Now, over here you noticed I did some beautiful memories and I did a contemporary pack, Moody 3. I'll just show you. You can see what happened. It kind of darkened the, back, the image versus that. And you can scale her down if you want or move her around, whatever you want to do. And that is as simple as that Filmora 12 Draw Mask new features this is a much awaited tool and make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave me some comments, hit that bell for notifications because very soon I'm going to show you what all these little diamonds mean. What are these diamonds? These diamonds are all over the place. Everything I click on has got a diamond. What is that? Well, stay tuned and I'm going to tell you exactly what that is and how to use it. Thanks for watching everybody.